Now in this question, we're given that f of x equals a plus bx all divided by 2 minus 3x all squared. And we're also told that in the binomial expansion of f of x, the coefficient of x is 0 and of x squared it's 9 sixteenths. And we've got to find the values of a and b. So if I was going to expand this binomially, I would think of this as a plus bx multiplied by 1 over 2 minus 3x all squared. And that would be the same as 2 minus 3x to the power minus 2. Now in the previous part of the question, we expanded 2 minus 3x to the power minus 2. So we can take that uh, answer and just start to fill it in here. Because 2 minus 3x to the power minus 2 we found was quarter plus 3 quarters x plus 27 sixteenths x squared plus and then 27 eighths x cubed and so on. Okay. Now, if we're looking at the coefficient of x being 0, let's just put this down. Since the coefficient okay, of x equals 0, what we can start to do is build up an equation uh, looking at the coefficients of x. And what are they? Well, if we start with a and we were to multiply each of these terms by a, then the term that contains x will be this one here, a times 3 quarters x. So the coefficient of x would be 3 quarters a there. So let's just put that in as 3 quarters a. Then we would go on to multiply through by bx. And the term in x would be bx times this quarter. So the coefficient would be a quarter b. So we've got plus a quarter b. And we know that this comes to 0 because the coefficient of x is 0. So we've got two unknowns. We know we're going to have simultaneous equations. So I'm going to multiply through by 4 here. And if I do that, it follows that we're going to get 3a plus b equals 0. 3a plus b equals 0. And from this, I'm going to make b the subject, so b would equal minus 3a. Let's call that equation 1. OK, so we need another equation, and obviously it comes from looking at the coefficients of x squared. So we'll put here, again, since the coefficient of x squared equals 9 sixteenths. What equation are we going to build up here? Well again we're going to be multiplying a with each of these terms here and it's going to be the term in x squared is going to be a times 27 sixteenths x squared. So coefficient will be 27 sixteenths a. And then for the next x squared term which we get when we multiply bx with 3 quarters x. So that's going to be 3 quarters b x squared. So co coefficient will be 3 quarters b. And we're told that that equals 9 sixteenths. Now I could divide through by 3 at this stage. If I divide each term by 3 then we're going to get 9 there, we'll get a 1 there, and we'll get 3 there. And I could also, at this stage, multiply through now by 16. So it follows that we're going to get 9a, okay, and then if we multiply a quarter b by 16, we get 4b, and then 3 16 times 16, that's going to be 3. So we've got our second equation, okay, equation 2. So what I can say now is that we'll sub, okay, equation 1 into equation 2. And we should be able to 
then find out what a is. So if I do that, I get 9a plus 4 times b, b being minus 3a, equals 3. And so therefore, we've got 9a minus 12a, so that's going to be minus 3a, equals 3. Divide both sides by minus 3, and we end up with therefore a equals minus 1. And all I need to do now is just simply substitute, let's just put it here, sub a equals minus 1 back into equation 1. If we do that, then we end up with b equaling minus 3 multiplied by minus 1, so therefore b turns out to equal 3. And there you go, alright? a minus 1, b equals 3.